Hi, I'm Allison. I'm a master's student in bioengineering here at Northeastern University. I work under Dr. Mansour Amiji and Dr. Laura Mullane in the lab here. And people do all sorts of things in the lab, including working on cancer research and introducing neomedicine into that. And my particular role is I work on nanomedicine to treat neurodegenerative diseases. So the problem that I'm trying to solve is often in neurodegenerative diseases, mitochondria, which are known as the powerhouse of the cell, actually provide a lot of many other functions. And in neurodegenerative diseases, it's been found that the networks that we see in healthy cells, so mitochondria binding together, have become fragmented and broken apart, meaning that there's less energy capacity, less um, oxidative phosphorylation, less movement of data, or not data, sorry, DNA and other information between mitochondria, and also less fusion with the endoplasmic reticulum, which regulates unfolded protein response, as well as other cell functions. So my plan is to create nanomedicine that encapsulates, so nanoparticles that encapsulate a mitochondrial network enhancing peptide to increase fusion in cells through this nanomedicine mediated delivery. I've been working on this for about a year and a half now and have been able to formulate nanoparticles that are able to induce this fusion as well as we've shown an increase in a lot of other cell functions such as mitochondria and endoplasmic reticulum co-localization and oxidative phosphorylation capacity. So many benefits to being in this lab. It's helped me now as I'm looking to get a job post-grad. I have something really interesting and exciting to talk about that I'm really proud of and that I really care about. I think that I've gained so many technical skills. I barely knew how to do cell culture before I joined research. And now I feel as if I'm an expert in what I'm doing and also have learned skills I couldn't have imagined, like nanoparticle formulation, um, really in-depth electron microscopy, uh, yeah, I guess just a lot of technical skills. I've learned how to work with advisors. I've learned how to work on a team while also pursuing individual goals. So I've really gained a ton of experience and knowledge from the lab. I guess the biggest thing that kind of changed my career path and more of an aha moment was the first time that I got to see cells under a microscope doing what I wanted them to do. I stained them with this green, like fluorescent stain. And this is a pretty standard practice amongst people that do cell culture and microscopy and all these things, but it was my first time. And the cells lit up green, and it was like a network of green mitochondria fused together. And it was the coolest thing that I've ever seen. And I was so excited, and it definitely form, formed for me that I wanted to be doing cell and tissue culture research into the next at least initial stages of my career because the research I'd done previously was a little more like drug delivery and mechanical and I guess this really seeing these cool science functions happen right in front of my eyes helped me determine that that's what I want to do at least right off the bat. Right now I'm applying to Mostly scientist roles in cell and tissue culture positions. I have a cell and tissue concentration as a bioengineer, so I've been mostly applying to places where I'll get to work with cells or work with medicine that will then be implemented into cells. But the cool thing about bioengineering, in my opinion, is that there are so many options for things you can do. The science is always changing and there's always new companies. And so I feel lucky that I get to be pretty open to a lot of roles and a lot of positions.